In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can create a zip file. A zip file is a file that's generated by compressing several other files together, including a folder or several folders. So I have a folder on my desktop right now that I'm going to use an example. It's called CGT 2024. And if I double click it to go inside, I can see that I have four distinct files, a couple of images, a text file, and it looks like a Microsoft Word file. So I'm just going to close that again. Oftentimes we use zip files to uh, send across the internet because what it does is it, it takes a group of files, if you will, and it compresses them. You can technically compress a single file as well into a zip file, but it's more conventional to take several files and compress them into one smaller file. And I'll show you how you uh, address that. Let's say I want to take this whole folder and I want to send it as a single file, again, because it will save space by compressing it. I can just simply right click and under here we have a feature called send to. In there there are a lot of options but it's the one called compressed zipped folder. So I'm going to click that and instantly it creates this new file and it looks like there's a little zipper on it and that's what we call a zipped file. Now that zipped file when decompressed will be the same as this file. So let me just hide this file for a second. And I'm going to drag it. You can drag files over other folders or folders over other folders. And I've just nested that into the, my desktop folder. To open up a zip file, to kind of end the story here, you simply double click it. And watch what happens here. So it's a left click, of course, double click. And what that does is it pops open a window. And you'll notice that we have the listing of the folder. I can select that folder and click this button called Extract, or Extract All, rather, over here. And where do I want to save it to? I can browse to go anywhere I want. I'm going to hit Cancel for a second, though, and just show you that it is saving on the desktop as indicated here. Okay, so I'm happy with, with where it's going to end up. And I will click Extract. And there is the fresh, new, uncompressed folder. So let's open that up. Double click it. And there's the folder that I initially compressed. So I'm double clicking that. And there are the files that were contained within that zipped folder. So let me just do that one more time. So I'm going to delete this folder, which is the zipped file. Delete. I'm actually going to come in here and drag this folder out. Okay, so I've got my folder with my four files. Once again, right click, send to, compress zipped folder, and there is my zipped folder. And if I want to decompress that, let's say I'm on the receiving end and I receive this file, I can simply double click it and say extract all and tell it where to save it. So if I wanted to save this on my OneDrive, for example, I could click browse. Go to my OneDrive, and I'll save it as a whole another folder here. I'll just click here, and go select folder, and go extract. And there is my new folder on my OneDrive. And I'm just double clicking to go in. I can use my back button here to go back out. So I've added a whole new folder to my OneDrive. And that is the nature of zipped files. They are a means to compress typically several files together as a single file so that you can send that or copy and paste it and it's a much smaller file. It's really meant for you know when you're emailing several files it makes sense to zip things up or if you're sharing with other people in a group. But that's the story on creating zipped files.